Welcome to my animation channel again. Thanks very much for joining me. So in this video, we're going to look at the wonderful effects that OpenTunes has. OpenTunes has a vast array of effects and it's, it's one of its big strengths. I've touched on a few of them before, but I haven't really dug into the amazing effects that, that it has. So this is an introduction to using the effects that OpenTunes has, and then we'll have a look at some of the more intricate effects in later videos. So I'm just creating a bird here. I'm creating a little chick head with a little beak and a few eyes and what we're going to do is we're just going to use the effects to apply a shadow and some highlights so let's pull up our stage schematic on the stage schematic you've got the camera the table and the columns and that's column one which is our little head and if you go down to the bottom right corner there where those little squares are if you click that it switches from stage schematic across to fx fx schematic okay so you can click back and forth between those two and in the fx schematic it's slightly different you've got the column or columns that feeds into the x sheet which feeds into the output so it's a slightly different setup from the stage schematic so let's insert our first fx right click you can either insert a fx or you can add a fx the difference is when you insert a fx it comes between the column and the X sheet. And when you add it, it just applies it to that column. So let's just stick with the insert. I usually insert all my FXs. I don't know, do you say FX or do you say FX? Effects. Uh, I'll stick to FX, it's easier. You can see on the right here, there's, there's a bunch of them. Uh, background, blur, distort, gradient. And then every one of those has even more options to the right. This is why I say OpenTunes is amazing. It's got an incredible range of effects. It really is outstanding. Uh, it's definitely one of its very big strengths. And uh, again, why I love it so much. Down here in the render, you have clouds. And then when you, when you go into particles, you've got some amazing abilities these are generative effects meaning that you can draw something and then open tunes will generate replicas of in various directions and sizes and you can animate amazing effects using this studio ghibli used a lot of these things have been added to over the years by the people at studio ghibli and also since when tunes became open tunes i've got a guy there still working at studio ghibli that creates a lot of these effects so just absolutely phenomenal so we'll have a look at some of these in the later videos and we'll use some of them in our scenes but for now let's just stick to the simple stuff because this is more intro to the effects so let's go down to matte and we're going to use matte in so click that and you see it's inserted in effects between the column one and the x sheet that's uh, matte in effects and you've got a source and you've got a matte input there so let's go and draw a shadow just we want it done here okay ignore that we need to draw it on its own column so let's just go do that and then we can just fill it with black for now pull it down there and then let's go and name these so we'll call it bird and shadow and then let's just go and arrange these what we want to do is we want the bird to go into the matte input and we want the shadow to be the source so the actual in the mat in the source is going to be the shadow the bit we've drawn and the mat is going to be the bird so we want to plug those in like that and then when we go up to the render viewer here on the top and click that we can see what it will render out as okay so it's picked up the shadow it's put the shadow in the shape but it's knocked out the bird so we need to go and join the bird also to the x sheet so let's just move it up there and try again so that the bird outputs to the X sheet directly but it also outputs to the effect so it's got two outputs there so it goes to the X sheet so that'll show the bird and then it also goes into the mat in to show where this needs to be matted into so it's got two outputs there and it goes to different places so you do that and then we can have another look and there it is so it's picked it up you see how it's just showing the shadow over where the bird is because the the bird is now the the mat the source of the mat so it's just going to show the bit inside the bird okay 
and then the shadow is the source. It takes a bit of getting used to this one. I didn't get it the first time either, but um, once once you just accept that's the way it is and understand it, then it becomes pretty easy. Right, so that's a shadow. Now it's pretty black. We don't want a black shadow. We want to knock that back so we can add another effect here. Let's just go to the insert effects and let's go down to light. In fact, not yet. We're going to do that just now. Let's go to layer blending and we can go down to transparency at the bottom there. Click that and it will insert a transparency between the shadow and the source there. So we're going to put a transparency on that shadow. If you double click that transparency, the settings for it pop up and you can see it's it's 50%. You can see on the on the screen there as well, it's already knocked it back to 50% it's telling us. And you can go and adjust it there. So if you make 25%, what it means is it's 25% transparent. So it's, it's darker. And if we go and, oops, let's come back. If we go and put it at 75%, then it's 75% transparent. So it's actually lighter. Okay, that's how that reads. And that's our... Our shadow so pretty simple stuff two effects to make that shadow let's go and make a bit of a highlight on the top here so we just select a new column and start drawing and we'll put a little highlight up there we can fill it with black and then there it is there so we can go call that light um, so the light's going to be coming from the top left there let's go and insert another effect and let's start with our matten because we want to do the same as we did with the shadow here we want to just tell it just to actually apply it where where the bird is so let's go do that first so we need to take from the output of the bird and put it into the mat of this new effect like we did with the shadow there we go and you can see immediately on the render it's it's blocked out everything that's not the bird okay that's the very first thing we do and then we we can give us a lighter color let's just go and do this on our palette um, we can make it a yellow like that and there's our light but that's not really looking good so let's go give it a bit of glow so we go down and we're going to add another effect this will be a light effect so go down to light and then scroll down to let's give it a glow click on that you see how this time we added an effect so it didn't put it in line it didn't put it on the output of the light it actually just added it to that light node there so that's the difference between adding and inserting so there's our glow effect and what we need to do now is to go set that up as well we need to make the glow effect the output of that needs to come into the source of the mat in and you can see immediately it's it's changed on the render there so now the light goes via the glow into the into the mat as a source there so it, it's it was direct now it's going via the glow input or the glow effect there okay and if you again if you double click on that you got various options here you can give it a different color over here you can actually animate all these inputs these these are the keys to animate them and here's the rgb here and a is for the alpha so you can put that at zero let's just put it back to 255 let's go give us a different color so click on it and bring up your level palette we can make it a different color or you can use your sliders here to make it a, a different color and also the other thing you can do is you can adjust the brightness here make it 50 percent or 75 percent etc etc so that's our that's our glow there and that's basically the introduction to to effects they do take a bit of getting to know but they are wonderful and you can really set up some amazing amazing scenes with these so worth getting to know worth using worth having a look at and we're going to use these in our in our scenes going forward right so if you click down bottom right there again you're back to the stage schematic and there are three columns in the stage schematic our light our shadow and our bird so that's it for now i hope you learned something and i'll dig into this further in my animating with open tunes course but there will be a whole lot more on fx and applying fx to the scenes we've been building in in the course so i recommend you go and have a look at that Thanks very much for tuning in to my animation channel once again and happy animating out there. See you again. All the best. Bye.